Watch this. Here's what happens inside a cooling coil when the water hits 32 degrees. I'm not an AI video expert, but I can help you prevent this from happening in real life. In HVAC systems, we often add glycol for freeze protection, but to use it correctly, you need to understand these two points, and that would be the freezing point and bursting point. All right, let's start with pure water. So for pure water, the freezing point and bursting point are the same, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When water freezes, it will expand about 9% in volume. And if it doesn't have anywhere to go, like inside this coil, the expansion is extremely strong and can burst this copper pipe very easily. Steel pipes, PVC, just about anything it's inside of. But when you add something like glycol to the system, it changes the game. So let's take this 40% glycol. This is propylene glycol mixture. As an example, as you can see from the manufacturer's data sheet, the freezing point is about minus six degrees Fahrenheit. And the burst protection, which is shown here, this 40% will get us down to about minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So what that means is at minus six degrees Fahrenheit, you will start to see ice forming inside of this solution and a slush or what we call a slurry will start to form the solution will thicken, but it can still flow a little bit. But the bursting point's something different. So if you go to the data sheet, the burst protection column is right here. And about 40%, or it says 37% here, we're protected down to about minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the temperature where this would be a solid block and stop flowing and expand, and it would burst your pipe. So when you're designing a system with glycol solution, you want to always design around the freezing point of the solution because that's where the slush begins. And even slush flowing through these pipes is not good for your system. It could deter heat transfer, cause problems with your pumps, and could damage major components. So why do they show the burst point? Well, it's telling you if the fluid ever gets this cold, you're going to have some serious catastrophic damage to your system. So with water, your freeze point and burst point are the same. They're different with glycol solutions, so make sure you check the data sheet. Thanks again to the folks at Peak for sending this new thermal charge 40% PG solution.